four. Let's do a review on the DeLonghi Dedica home espresso machine. But first, let's ask ourselves a question. Why is this one of the most popular home espresso machines in the world? And for me, I think the answer has to do with reaching a large audience. This machine is excellent for beginners and with a few modifications, it is also excellent for people who want to get a little bit more out of a economical machine. So I want to do this video in two parts. Let's take a look at this machine in its stock form and go through all the features and what it's capable of. And then in part two, we will take a look at a few easy modifications and see how we can get the highest value out of this economical espresso machine. Let's first talk about what it comes with. This is the box right here. Nothing too exciting there. And in the box, you've got this very handsome looking machine, in my opinion. It comes in white, red, black, and silver colors. This is the EC685, by the way. This is the second model in the Dedica series. The first model was the EC680. And in between, there's also the EC785. I've seen a lot of people ask the question, what is up with the EC785, Tom? Well, I'll tell you guys. The EC785 is really just the same as the EC685, but it comes in different colors, beige, pink, and gray. And it also comes with a, a pitcher like this one, and it comes with a proper tamper as well. But this is the EC685, so let's take a look at this one. This machine comes with a few parts. One is a plastic tamper, I would suggest that you replace this thing with a proper one, but it does work well for these kinds of baskets. So the machine comes with three baskets and they are pressurized. So what that means is the pressure is not created through the coffee, uh, through the coffee puck itself and the tamping, but rather it is caused more by pushing coffee through a double walled system. So you've got a lot of holes here, the coffee goes through there and it gets pushed through one hole coming out of the bottom. Now, that has advantages for beginners. So when you're first using this machine, you're probably not going to want to buy a grinder to go along with it, that is an extra expense. And so you can just go to your store, get some pre-ground espresso and put that in there, tamp it down a little bit and put it in the machine, you'll be good to go. You will get actually a shot with crema. So that is the advantage for a very beginner, having these pressurized baskets rather, it's a money savings and it will get you started. So this machine also comes with two additional baskets. That was the double, this is the single basket and here is one for pods. So let's talk a little bit more about the machine itself. Um, it's very thin at only six inches wide. It's not very tall either, so it's easy to handle. It has got a one liter removable water tank, so that is very convenient for filling it up. On the side here is the power button, and then you got a steam switch here, and you've got three buttons. These first two are programmable. The machine has got a little flow meter inside, so it knows how much water is flowing through the system. And so if you just hold down the button for as long as you want, as long as you're seeing the liquid come out, the machine will remember that and it will provide that amount next time as well. So you got a single cup here for a shorter espresso or coffee, and then you got a double that you can program for longer if you want. This is the steam button to turn the machine from coffee mode to steam mode. Then you've got this steam wand here. This is how it comes stuck. So it's got the Panarello on here, and this is also something good for beginners because all you have to do is stick this into the milk and it's going to automatically inject air. So if you have this thing up, it's going to just kind of make a hot milk, and if you pull it down like that, it is going to inject more air into the milk. Something else to mention, this has got a removable drip tray. So with this removable drip tray, 
you can fit a larger cup underneath there. That's very convenient. There's quite a bit of space here. It also has a little float here to tell you when you are overflowing with water. And it's a pretty minuscule drip tray, I will say that. But considering that this machine does not have a three-way solenoid valve to turn off the pressure here after the extraction, I normally will just put a little cup underneath anyway to catch the liquid coming out and dump that cup later. Uh, something else to say, the machine warms up in 30 seconds. So it is operational within that time. However, I would recommend to run it a couple of times first, let an empty shot come through there, just to warm up the whole brew system, to warm up the porter filter, and then afterwards pull your shot. One more point, it does also have a, um, a heated cup tray on top, but it doesn't get very hot. I will admit that that does not make much of a difference the heater is located like down here, basically, so the heat does not travel up to the top all that well. All right, so next let's go ahead and make an espresso and steam some milk with the stock form of this machine. All right, guys, let's go ahead and make an espresso in this machine's stock form. So I've got the pressurized basket in there. I've got my scale teared out. And we're gonna put 14 grams of this Lavazza Espresso in there, pre-ground. So I'll take this handy scoop. Four, 11, 13, 14, perfect. Well, let's just kind of smooth that out a little bit. And we will use the included tamper. Put that in the machine and let's go ahead and start our brew. All right, there you have it, very simple. No grinder necessary, not even a proper tamper, and you get actually an espresso with crema. Anybody can do it. And that is the advantage of using the pressurized system. And how is the taste? I mean, it's pretty good. Considering the little bit of work we put into it, it's a relatively well-rounded espresso, even if the crema that we made um, is not made by the resistance of the puck itself. Okay, and now let's try and steam some milk. All right, so what we're gonna do is fill up our canister to about the bottom of the spout right there and put our machine into steam mode. Let's let out the extra condensation. And now we can start steaming. Steam until it gets to be a little bit too hot to the touch. We'll give that a little swirl. We can use the two pitcher method and transfer from one pitcher to the next to get it nice and incorporated. So that milk right there is not too bad for using a Panarello. And we even get something like a heart on there, so that is not bad at all for the pressurized system with the Panarello. This is the stock system. Okay, next we're going to move on and make a shot and steam some milk with this machine in enhanced barista mode. So let me just show you a trick there. Take the Panarello off, get yourself a uh, cable tie and just put that on here, zip it tight, and that way you'll be able to have much more control over the steam going into your drink. In order to do that, I would always recommend to put a cable tie on here because once you've removed the Panarello, this nozzle flies off. But with a cable tie, it does not. There we go. So we've got our cable tie on there and we've got our 
handy dandy, very fancy bottomless portafilter with a conventional single wall basket that we are going to use next. All right, here we go on to the advanced method of using the DeLonghi Dedica. First of all, for our espresso shot, we want to use really fresh, good coffee beans. So these ones right here are very fresh. They were roasted about five or six weeks ago. That is fresh enough. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. Tear out our scale and add 14 grams of espresso. And I've got a grinder with me. Where is it? Okay, so this is my hand grinder right here. It's from Time War. And this is a good alternative, a more economical alternative to a grinder with a motor. So we can just fill that up also with 14 grams. And this little grinder will actually provide a nice consistent grind, fine enough to make for a nice espresso. Okay, so after all of that, I have got here a nice 14 gram dose loaded into the portafilter. And since this is pretty fresh coffee, I'm expecting a nice extraction out of here. So you can tell that is way different. In fact, the crema is still settling. And all we did was took some fresh beans, a nice grinder, and a good single wall basket. And this machine can provide a really nice, properly extracted espresso. Beautiful. And how was the taste? Now that's something different, of course. These are fresh beans, they're much more expensive also. And we went through the process of creating uh, the coffee puck so that there was enough resistance to actually extract crema from the beans instead of doing it artificially. And so this is the advanced method of using this machine. And that's what I like so much about it. And what I think makes this machine very popular, you can either use it in its base form you can even be a beginner and get good results from this machine, or you can make a couple adaptations and get an excellent espresso out of it using an advanced method. Oh, by the way, I'm using the hot temperature setting on this machine. Now let's go ahead and see if we can steam some nice milk with this steam wand hack. We are going to do the same thing and fill up until the bottom of the pitcher spout. We're gonna turn steam mode on. Let's go ahead and purge the steam wand. And now, pretty much the same as before, except now we are responsible ourselves for positioning the steam wand tip so that we get a vortex going. So you want to introduce some air in the beginning and then just kind of sink the tip a bit while the milk is rolling. We'll use the same two pitcher technique as before. Stump our espresso in there and see if we can pour any kind of design. Okay, that way we get a pretty design as well. Not bad anyway. Not bad at all. All right guys, so you see that also with the advanced technique, you can make a very delicious espresso as well as very nice milk for making latte art. That is the advanced method. Let me know if you have any questions about using either the, the basic or the advanced modes in the comment section down below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this little machine. Okay, I will say something. Having such a popularized machine gives you some liberties. And those are 
There are many aftermarket parts that are excellent for this machine. And what I would recommend that you do is get yourself a bottomless portafilter like this one here. I made this myself simply by cutting the bottom off and I'm using here a single walled conventional basket. That way I'm responsible myself to get the appropriate grind to get fresh beans and to provide the resistance necessary to actually get a nice extraction. That's gonna really up your espresso game if you use a single walled basket and having a bottomless porta filter is just very convenient because that way you can see, okay, how does the espresso shot look coming out? Is it channeling? Is it running too fast? Or does it look good? If you don't feel like sawing one off yourself, you can also buy a bottomless one. There are many on the market. You can find these on Amazon and uh, there's a lot of different models. This one is from Normcore, but you can buy um, other models as well. And I'm going to put links in the description box down below for, I think, the main products that you can enhance this machine with. A bottomless porta filter, a single walled uh, espresso basket, a proper tamper. I got this handsome tamper on Amazon as well. And I really like using this one. It fits the basket perfectly. I've also got a funnel here for dosing when you're using a grinder. And if you want to make cappuccinos, you're going to need a milk pitcher. So as I mentioned, I'm going to put these um, links in the description box down below. If I missed anything or if there's something else that you guys would like my um, opinion on, just please write into the comments and let me know. Also, write into the comments, I'm curious, which color do you think is the best? White, red, black, silver, pink, gray, or beige? Oh. One more thing I can't forget, I just love about this machine, is how cleanly the pucks knock out. Oh, I didn't even have to knock it, just came right out. That is wonderful. All right, guys, now there is a con to mention about this machine. The one thing that um, I kind of hear a lot of people complain about is a lack of a three-way solenoid valve. So you do have to wait for about a minute after the extraction before opening up the portafilter. Otherwise, you're gonna make a big mess. It's gonna spray out. But for me, that's not really uh, a disadvantage. It's an advantage because I think that is the reason that we get such clean pucks coming out of that machine. All right, guys. I hope that you like this deep dive review into the DeLonghi Dedica coffee machine. And if so, give the video a like, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, you can subscribe to the channel. And if I missed anything, write into the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. Until next time, say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.